The Vodafone Big Top 40. Officially the UK's number one chart. Hello and welcome to the Vodafone Big Top 40 web chat with Connor Maynard. Hello everyone. Hi. Over there. Over there. Hi. Say hi to everyone. Hello, how are you? <laughs> hi. Hi, Mum. They can't reply right <laughs> hey, now. Hey, Mum, you you're okay? not watching, you don't love me. Uh, yeah, I'm good, I'm all good. So how you are you? Did you tired? I'm a bit tired. Someone go out Obviously. last night, did they? No, I was in bed, like, reading oh, books whatever, and stuff. Like, yeah. like normal. Um, well, I went out, I was celebrating, over. partying. Were you? Going in, yeah. Been doing loads of that lately? No. This week, maybe? You make go out celebrate a bit more? Depending yeah, where you end yeah, up. It depends, depends. You know, if I could remember, that'd be great. But no. <laughs> uh, we've got loads okay. of questions that come in for you. Quickly, let's move Perfect, on. Right. Uh, Charlotte Dale has tweeted us saying, how much time do you get to spend in Brighton these days? Not much, really. Oh. I went down there recently. Um, I picked up my, my parents from Gatwick. They came back from holiday. So I picked them from Gatwick and took them back to Brighton and I stayed there for two days. You stood at the airport waiting for me. <laughs> Just like with a card like me. Like, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I picked them up and I saw them in Brighton for two days. But yeah, I don't really get much time in Brighton. No. Normally not see my friends. They come to London. But it's like hard for my family to come up. Like my it's parents and my exciting for your stuff. mates to come to London. So anyway. my mates come to London. If I go back to Brighton, obviously I spend a lot of time with my family. So okay, cool. Not very uh, Emily T wants to know, what's your new album going to sound like? Are there any collaborations on there? Um, it's going to be different. Obviously, because they wouldn't release the same album, that'd be weird. But, um, I yeah, know, I think but it's for the sound people different. that loved your first album, I was a big fan of your first album. Thank you. Is it going to be a similar sort of thing? Are we going to expect? It will dig a little deeper, I think. It'll be, you know, it'll, it'll kind of, it, I, I suppose, kind of, I was 19 when I was my first album. I'll be 21 by the time I release this new one, kind of thing. I won't be a teenager anymore, kind of moved on from that. And I think it's kind of, you know, I think it's it's not going to be so much like girls, 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 I just can't say, you know, it's going to be a bit more kind of. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Yeah, ladies, ladies, ladies. I just can't. No, I don't, know, I don't know where I was going with that, but um, <laughs> I just can't say yes. No, but um, but uh, I think um, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna kind of dig a little deeper into lyrically, definitely, and then obviously music's gonna sound a little, maybe a bit more, a bit kind of more mature as well. I think. Okay, cool. Collaborations? Who you been working with? You know who um, you put on there yet? Yeah, or well, yeah, I kind of um, as, as I kind of said before, I'd kind of done a few. Um, I, did, I did a track that had a little bit of input from Timberland, which was crazy, mm. uh, cray cray, and. Um, What's it like Travis working McCoy with someone well. like that? Well, well I didn't get to meet him. It was one of those ones where you just send songs and oh. it kind of goes out. I know, it was a bit annoying really, but it was still crazy. Track, do you speak so. on the phone though about it as well? Or is it just, Not really, you just no. do it and send it back and then that's it? Well, I mean, I'd, I, 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 if, I, I, I wouldn't even know if he's heard it yet because it's oh, kind no. of something he wrote and, he, and, I, and I, I kind of um, ended up with it and then we kind of did our own spin on it and then it's, it's takes, it takes time. It's the music industry is all like very like... So many things you got to get through. I wish sometimes you could just like record it, and if yeah. two artists get together and they like it, and that's great. But there's so many other people that's got to yeah. go through. So you did with Labyrinth, though, didn't you? You managed to get into exactly the just you know waiting and... in his toilet three hours waiting for him to walk <laughs> in. <laughs> Backstage at a festival, waiting for him to walk in. And, Labyrinth. Oh, God, glad I glad I, glad I caught you. Um, just recording it, singing. I'd love at him. to do a chat with you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sing. I'm going crazy. Okay, cool. That'd be that'd be great, man. Um, wow, weird way yeah, of working, so, Connor. But, uh, but no, I think yeah. A lot of, sometimes it's cool where you just meet artists and you bump into each other, and it's. And it's all easy, so yeah, and things yeah. can happen like that. Um, at it's Harry wants to know, um, when is the new album coming out? Do you know when it's going to be out? Um, hopefully early next year. That's what we're aiming for. But um, but yeah, it's it's weird. I think, you know, if I could put it out today, I would. But it's kind of it takes time to kind of get it all ready, and I wanted to make sure it's perfect for all the fans and yeah. everything that people are going to buy it. So I think you um, get your mug shot done for the exactly. I've got to got to get the cover cover art done. But um, but yeah, I think it, it takes a lot of time. It's it's, it's very time consuming. Okay. Um, at Maynard is mine wants to know, have you decided what you're going to name your second album yet? It's all about the album. I have I have no idea what I'm going to name it yet. You're going to ask the fans to maybe name it? I might it? just taboo sales, name it like Harry Potter and the Fifty Shades of Maynard. <laughs> just, <laughs> <It's really> odd. <laughs> Wow. But, um, okay. Good yeah. luck with that one. Might do that to, to boost some sales. <laughs> okay. Um, at World Maniacs wants to know: Has your mum bought Are You Crazy yet? Um, probably. Yeah. She would I think be. when she tried to pre-order it, it declined her card, which is a bit sad. But, um, oh no! I have to lend her ninety-nine p. No, no. I think um, she gets confused on iTunes and stuff, so maybe. Uh, yeah. But no, I think she uh, she's got it. I'm sure. So, yeah. Okay. Um, some acid Maynard wants to know: How long did it take you to write Take Off? Um. How much of a direct takeoff? Um, oh, oh, I'm thinking of the song. I've just read the book. They mean the book, don't they? Yeah, they must. Okay, take off. Yeah, I was like the song. Oh, day. No, um, yeah, no. Take the book. It was some solid kind of sitting down, kind of talking over things, and it was it was a, f- it a good a few weeks. Of old memories. It was, yeah. It was it was weird. Like, and you and you realize how hard it is to actually remember things chronologically. Yeah. Like you kind of forget what happened first. Like, was I singing or was I having that? No first? diaries kept or anything. No, I never did that. I never wrote any diaries or anything. So wow. I had to kind of just go off memory and. Did someone else write it for mom. you while you were thinking loud? <laughs> 
Say again. Did, did someone else write it for you while you were thinking loud? I, yeah, I kind of. Um, I, know, I, I recorded it into a microphone. I kind of. I spoke out loud. Kind of what I was thinking and had a microphone. So and it the shares like, long in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Take a and note. Then, grape, please. Grape, grape. <laughs> I can totally then, imagine um, you doing that though. Unfortunately. <laughs> Someone like with a fan, just like <laughs> fanning me. That'd be great. Uh, yeah. At Connor's shirt wants to know what's your favourite Italian food. Pizza, <laughs> um, probably spaghetti bolognese. When I go to Italian restaurant, I get spaghetti bolognese. But that's, is that is that even Italian really? <laughs> what anymore? You know, we've really, we've just claimed it's like oh yeah, spag bowl. Have a spag bowl. <laughs> <laughs> um, at O I Connor wants to know what's your favourite film. My favourite film. Ooh. Now the Green Mile was up there as one of my favourites. In the Green Mile. Oh yeah, of course. A reason I, I normally know if a film's good because what happens? I normally start watching a film like especially when I was at school. I'd watch I'd watch films like they'd start like they start like two a.m. And you know a film's good if you continue watching it, yes. knowing you've got to get up yeah. like, in a few hours. Like, but normally I'd watch it until I go to sleep and I turn it off and go to sleep. But like the Green Mile, I couldn't turn. It. It's like three hours long that film. Yeah, I, I couldn't turn it off. Okay, good. So that's your it. answer. It's touching, um, touching. At Vegas Panda One wants to know, love the new single. What inspired you? Um, I think it's just kind of. Uh, <laughs> I'm definitely going to name any names because I'll get absolutely chased. <laughs> but. Um, I think uh, I think it's just kind of a general situation that a lot of people have been through. I think when you break up with someone, I think nine times out of ten it's normally bad rather than good. Would you agree? I, yes, I think most breakups are bad. We it's, just go, that was oh, nice. That was, that was nice, but bye. Well, yeah. <laughs> Next, who's next? Yeah. But, um, well, that'd be a lot easier though, wouldn't I it? I know, that'd be great, but obviously it doesn't really happen like that. And I think, you know, sometimes it's, you disagree as well and sometimes you want to get back at them. Or they, and I think sometimes when they want to get back with you and you're just like, no way. Does like, the person no who way. it's about know it's about them? I don't think it's. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's about anyone in Come like, on, particular. Connor. I don't think it's about anyone in particular. I think it's more of a kind of a general thing that people go through. So. Ooh, okay. I think because it's, I, w- I would say I've been through it more than once. So. Okay. So yeah. All right, Connor. More than just loads of girls. girls, just all, girls they all girls. just want me back, and it's just like, no, are you crazy? <laughs> like, no. Like we've had our few weeks. Like I'm, I'm on to the next one. <laughs> no, no. Wow. Like that, there so. you go. Little insight into Connor's life. <laughs> uh, Yasmin wants to know: Would you rather um, have to wear fifty layers of clothing in the summer, or go naked in the winter? Um, um, I don't know. <laughs> That's just a really weird oh, question. No. <laughs> Probably go naked in the winter. Okay. Just get my nature. You know, get you know, get in touch with my nature side. You know, natural, <laughs> natural Tarzan side. Kind of went out last night. Everyone he's struggling to <laughs> yeah, think straight. <laughs> um, oh, this is a nice one. Okay. Um, at I I Maynard uh, wants to know what size are your boxes? What size are my boxes? <laughs> yeah. Um. Small on the sides, large on the front and back. Wow. No, <laughs> there you go, ladies. Um, at Naxo Philippe wants to know what's been your best experience so far. Um, my best experience. I think my album going to number one in the UK was an incredible experience. That was amazing. Where were you at the time? I was in bed when I got told. Really? I was in bed. I got a phone call in the morning. They said, "Yeah, I went to number one. Congratulations! I went cool. Went back to sleep. <laughs> I literally went back to sleep for a few hours." <laughs> How do you go back to like, sleep yeah. after something like that? Almost relief though, I guess, is it? It was a bit like, oh, because it was so close. I remember how close it was. It was between myself and Plan B. Wow. And um, it was pretty scary. Have you seen but Plan B since? No. No. I haven't. Mm. You no. won't have a drink maybe for that one. Yeah, no, I should, I should, I should call him. Like, ha! Um, <laughs> All this time. <laughs> at Maynard Ina. Oh, no, at Maynard Ina. Ina. Maynard? Where no, did Maynard, Maynard come from? At Maynardina. You don't even know at Maynardina. There you go, Maynardina. I got it. All right. It's reading, it's hard. Um, if you could get any tattoo, what would it be? Probably of my face, on my face. Nice. That's not creepy. Just like, exactly life size. <laughs> like on my a face. cartoon version of it. <laughs> <laughs> Always happy. Have you got any tattoos? I haven't, no. Are you going to get any? I don't know. I feel like it's become a bit more unique to not have any anymore. Yeah, I know. Exactly like everyone's got tattoos mean. now. Yeah. It's a bit more unique to not I have any. I haven't got any tattoos. Have you got any? No. There we go. I know. Hey, we're in the non I was really club. expecting you'd have a tramp stamp, but no. Connor <laughs> 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 Maynard! I know, most people do. Don't worry about it. I'm joking. <laughs> um, let's have a look. What's the most stupid thing you've ever done? Is it insult the person that's interviewing you? That yeah, probably. Yeah, because now you're going to take me apart. <laughs> anyway, take this Now, let's take all the questions I can pick now. Now, the stupidest thing I've ever done um you well funny thing. enough recently I, I, I don't really know if I can say this though Go it, it, involves, it involves police <laughs> what did you do I was in my car recently alright okay let me just say I would never ever condone this okay. right but, but and I've, I've got a good reason as to what was happening right so I was um I was driving my car and basically there was a car behind me and it was going really fast, right? And I was a bit, and I got a bit like, 
Like, come on, come on, like, don't, like, this is this is ridiculous. Like, and I, I got a bit big headed at the time. I was a bit like, look, my car's bigger and faster than yours. Like, don't try and don't oh, try and like, Connor. don't try and push me out because he was just he was literally right behind me, like a millimeter. And I was like, this is ridiculous. I'm not letting you. I'm not Your letting you make me move. Maynard, I'm not letting you make me move aside so you can speed <laughs> off past me. So I started getting a bit faster, and eventually got to the point where he was so like, literally, I was getting faster and faster and faster. And I was like, this is like, I was starting to get over the speed limit. And I was like, this is okay. This is getting dangerous now. I'm, I, I, this must stop. And then <laughs> the blue light started flashing. It was a police car behind me. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, because it was dark and I couldn't see. And then he pulled me over. Oh no. It was awful. Of all people. And I thought, I thought it was just some like maniac behind me. Maniac? Hey. <laughs> Mental person <laughs> behind me just like going really fast. And I was getting really like nervous. Like, oh my goodness. And it was actually a police car. It was actually the police trying to pull Follow you me over. Follow me. Because I was going too fast. <laughs> Connor, that is probably the most stupid thing you've ever done. So I got done. pulled over and yeah, it wasn't great. Um, At Freddie Fangirl wants to know, who do you think is going to win X Factor this year? Are you watching it? Do you get time to watch things like um <laughs> simon <laughs> um, i love your uncle simon <laughs> yeah simon's gonna win this year. No, um <laughs> i if i'm honest i've been very busy i've been able to watch a, most of it um but you know i think john's got a good time <laughs> <laughs> good try and i like David. Hold on. <laughs> apparently, there's a girl in it that's amazing. Apparently, she's she she had a bit of a, like of a, a a difficult upbringing. Well, that could be any of them. Was it her? It? They all Is she still in it? it. Yeah, she'll do. That'll be the one. I think. She, but apparently, she's incredible. She's the one that I keep hearing about. So okay. apparently, she's. Do you incredible. get to watch things like that? Is it all box sets when you're on tour and stuff like that? Do you get to watch anything? Um, like, on it is hard. I mean, I'm, I'm, I literally don't watch any TV whatsoever. Like, I don't. Yeah. I don't like all of those like TV shows. Like all my all my like my band and my tour manager. Oh, you've got to watch like Entourage, Breaking Bad, all these things. But I don't watch any of them. Like, I, because I just. What do you do? I'm really bad at keeping up. I, I'm more of a kind of a gamer. Um, if I get any spare time, I'm on my Xbox or my. My PlayStation, so. There you go. Um, Neha JLSXX wants to know, who's your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush? I'm going to say Beyonce. Yeah. She's just talented. She's perfect, isn't she? So I'm, I'm attracted to her talent, even. Like, I think when she walks in a room, people must be like, what was that? She's like, sorry, guys, it's my talent. She's think you never get face. to work with Beyonce? Um, <laughs> maybe. Fingers crossed. It could happen. You yeah. never know. You just don't you never know. know. You put it out there. I have to um, call Jay Z. At Jody Lay <laughs> underscore W wants to know 2012 or 2013. What what year was better or yeah. what number do I prefer? <laughs> What's your favourite number? Um, this ooh, year or last? 2012 was pretty pretty amazing, but um, you know, we've still got a bit of time left. Okay. Like this year, I feel like it's only just beginning for me. Yeah. Because I've just started releasing stuff. I've just started coming back into the game. I'm back. Yeah. So I don't know. This 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 year could still offer a lot. We'll but right you. now, I would say 2012 because obviously that was year, fun, we'll that was you. that was round packed with craziness. Whereas this year's kind of been a bit more quiet. I've been in the studio, kind of recording. Yeah, you know, getting stuff of, done, getting stuff together. There we go. But this, you know, the next few months could be. At intense. Anika Biswas wants to know what's your guilty pleasure. My guilty pleasure. Probably High School Musical. Really? Oh, Breaking Free was such a tune. <laughs> We're soaring. Fly. I can't stop now. But, um, but that song was such a tune. And I, I still to this day stand by. Wow. Zach Efron and Didn't Vanessa Hudgens. Yeah. Um At One Dream Connor wants to know what's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you on stage? Um, falling over, 100%. And, and I think I, w I thought I'd be fine because I'm normally like, really good at kind of like awkward situations. I can normally laugh yeah. it off or brush it off and be like, oh, I'm such a loser. But no, falling over on stage is like, it's really hard to get what over it because everyone just done? watched you stack it on stage. Yeah. And it was in Birmingham. It was my last show of my last tour last year. Last show of my last tour last year. And um, yeah, I, I fell over. Like I, I, And it was my own fault. I'd kind of chuck water into the audience and it went all over the stage and I slipped on it. <laughs> you were showing off. That's I was showing off. I was showing off my front of my friends. I should have gone to bed. Like, I, shouldn't have, I, shouldn't have, I shouldn't have been showing off front of my friends. <laughs> well, so, I know um, you've got to get off, so I'm going to let you go. Okay. But thank you very much for coming in today, Connor Maynard. We're good. going to no worries, thank uh, you go for back me. in there and we need to see where your song's going to get to today. Let's do it. So uh, thank you very much. All if good. you want to watch it back, you can. It's at bigtop40.com later on. Thank you, Connor Maynard. Thank you.